The following video is brought to you by the Cop Block Network. Together, we can further the police accountability message. Visit copblock.org slash network for more details. Mr. McCoy, <laughs> back to number 19. How are you tonight? You sucking any dicks tonight? <laughs> Oh, you done putting your hands on people? Yo, oh, you ain't. But just like I told you, I'm going to have your badge. I'm going to take that fucking sorry ass bag off of your chest. You laugh, you little smiling cocksucker. You piece of shit. You donut cocksucker. Just like the rest of you, piece of shit. Throw a man in jail. Can't you go and throw a man in jail? It's like, motherfucker. Motherfucker. I say again, motherfucker. Yeah, a fucking cockroach. Scum bucket. I told you, bitch. I told you. You fucked with me for the last fucking time. I told you there was more cop blockers coming. You thought I was bullshitting with you. Say what? Yeah, I, I got a whole bunch of friends. Looks like you brought your friends, too. Looks like you, that's right. You got Frank back up? So what's going on? Why are we all hanging out here today? I ain't got nothing else to do. So we're here in Zanesville, cop blocking the Zanesville police. Uh, we got about, I don't know, 15, 20 people out here. And this looks sorry, son, bitch. Hey, remember when you slammed me into your telephone pole? Remember when, <laughs> remember when you slammed me into your telephone pole? Guess what? Your complaint's broken up on you. Washington got it. Guess what? I got it back. Ha <laughs> ha! You're getting ready to lose your badge. Yeah, boy, you ain't gonna be no. Just like I told you. Just like I told you, Mr. McCoy. Did you go sing that song? Did you go sing that song? Proud to be America? Did you sit down and sing it with your wife and your kids? I told you to. This is the one that arrested you the other day? Yep, this is the one that arrested us. I can't even talk. Yep, can't even. My nephew. Motherfucker, I can't even talk. And motherfucker, you. It's a free fucking world. Lock down. Fuck with this motherfucker, bitch. <laughs> all right, we can keep it cool, though. We don't have to get all worked up. Yeah. Ain't that right, McCoy? Fucking homo. <laughs> you know what a homo is? Go look in the mirror. What's that? Isn't it beautiful? We can do this. Well, I mean, you you pretty you you're the one who instigated this. You arrested people for filming you. No, no, no. What? No? Oh, yeah, you yeah. You didn't yeah, take yeah. that guy to jail the other day? You didn't take him to jail? You didn't take him to jail? Yeah, yeah. For freedom of speech? And you drove fifty five mile an hour across mm -hmm. town? Oh, don't act like you don't know. Oh, don't know. oh yeah, we know you. You did know. take him to jail then. Yeah, yeah, I did. For filming you? No, took him because for what? Let him talk. For what? Okay. Why'd you take him to jail? Why'd I take him to jail? Well, because we were on a felony investigation. And the rest of you can back up. The rest of you can back up. Tell your buddies to back up. I can't tell anybody what to do, but I mean... You need for safety. Back up. Yeah, you might you're, you're definitely safe. I mean, oh, I know I am. I'm not worried. But then why would you say officer safety if you know you're safe? Because there's a whole lot of people around me. Well, so felony investigation? We were doing a felony investigation. Individuals intruded. The lady told us I'm not comfortable with them filming. We asked them to leave. They refused to do so. We asked them to leave again. My interview with her today, she said she was all right with the filming. But that is what she took and told the officers. I wasn't there initially. And when I arrived, that's what was said. Sure. And he was already in custody. And and I said, it's not fair for him to do the same thing that he was doing and to take him to jail and not him too. It, it wasn't fair. So we arrested them both for obstructing justice. Now the courts will decide if they're guilty of it or not. Right, right. We just assume what the elements of an offense is. As far as filming goes, you know, listen, I'm a, I'm a veteran, okay? I believe in your rights. And you have the right to film. We're public officials. We don't have the right to privacy. Film away. The only thing we ask is when we're involved with somebody that you respect their rights to privacy. Okay? Yeah. And allow us to deal with it. If, if that's 
if that's respected, what's the good? Sure, I, it's a gray area. I'm like, what is no, interfering yeah, or not? Know, but we'll figure that out. Instigating, you know what I mean, trying to get people to react. I'm a professional. They don't bother me. And what they say yeah. doesn't bother me. Yeah, I agree that Herb's a little raw in his approach and he's an aggressive, but he does have a freedom of speech and he has a long history with uh, people who dress like you who, you know, made a lot of hardships well, on his life. And so it's people, understandable. Some people bring things on themselves. Well, you know, and some people have it brought on them. I mean, there's a there's a system out there. I mean, there's a lot of laws. You can't agree that all laws are good, right? Oh, no. I, I can tell you right now that there are way too many laws. Right. Okay? And that people are way too dependent on the police to do everything for them. Hey, I just interviewed the chief in Indianapolis. The, the thing I hate worse, okay, is the term law enforcement. Okay? We're supposed to be peace officers. Maintaining the peace. You used to be peace officers at some point. I still am. All right. Okay. <laughs> we need to agree to disagree on that. I mean, there's well, a lot well, of victimless crimes. You don't know my behavior and what I've done for 20 yeah, years. Yeah, but I'm... Okay, so you can't disagree. Well, I could. Well, I mean, I, I, know I, I, I know a lot of... I mean, like, you wear a uniform. I know what a lot of cops do. I've I mean, like... I've worn a uniform most of my life. I hear you. But uh, there are a lot of laws but that I are bad. I've overseas I've worn a uniform. I hear you. There's uh, a lot of victimless crimes. There's a lot of things that police officers do these days that, you know, probably not by their personal choice, but by the rules dictated by them, here's, here's that makes the you guys here's in a tough whole, position. The whole issue is, is what people fail to understand is you, the voters, okay, vote in laws. Okay? Well, not exactly. Hold on. Well, I mean, that's the way it's set up. Well, I know. That's, like, the, the whole system's really messed up. Well, but I can't fix that system. Who is, who's job Neither can I. The system has to fail. I mean... You guys have to fix the system. Okay? So... Voting doesn't work, man. Well... But what what do you want? Tyranny? They're, they're well, there there's tyranny. <laughs> there's tyranny now. I go. I have served to figure out who's got the all over the world. <laughs> and no, we don't have a perfect system, but we got one of the best there is. I would disagree, man. This isn't the freest country in the world when you have the highest the prison population in the planet. Well, I mean, we have a lot of crime. And when you have a lot of freedom. Hold on, but that crime is the dictated by law. And we just we both just established that there's too many laws and that the laws are bad. Crime, you have a lot Information. Of okay. What's when that? you have a lot of freedom, you have a lot of crime. I don't, I don't believe so. That, that's that's been that's counterproductive. How can you have a lot of freedom and have a lot of crime? It's just because it is because of free will. I mean, like, there's victimless crimes. I mean, we just filmed the guy who was pulled over having his license plate in his window. Like, there's no reason for that. But well, cops commonly use that that issue to stop somebody is, like a taillight. Here's the thing. Let me explain something. To you. You, you don't understand a lot of the processes. You may see us pull somebody over because they don't have the front plate on their car. Okay, we didn't create that law. Yeah, but you have discretion. But here's the, we do have officer discretion. But here's the thing: where did that vehicle come from? Okay. Well, what if we just seen that vehicle leave from drug houses and high drug area, high crime area? Okay, now we have a reason to stop the vehicle. Okay, to see who's in it. Well, yeah, it's a fishing expedition. That's wrong, man. It's not wrong. Because it is to me. Well, to you. Yeah. Okay, but you have a right to believe that. Yeah. Okay, and I have a right to disagree. Right. Okay. But I'm just saying is like, it still doesn't make it right. You know what I'm saying? And I guess you're going to say it doesn't make it wrong or that you have this authority, but like, I believe it's a fishing expedition. I have the authority that you, the people, gave me. I didn't give you any authority. I can't give you any authority. I don't, like, if that's the case, then I'm telling you now that like, I don't want you to pull anybody over. I, I'm not it's giving you that authority. That all right. I, I represent a city, and I, I know. represent a lot more people than you. But I understand, and that sucks. That, that's the problem. It's like, I wish you guys would... Well, you don't have to work for the police. The you don't have to work for the government, man. Why don't you go work for a business and do the same things you do for the because city? I get to serve the people. Right, but that's that's the problem. It's like, this, this system isn't working. You the know? thing about it is, you don't like me because I'm a cop. I never said okay. I didn't like you. Okay. I, I don't... It, it doesn't bother me if you like me or if you don't. If you like what I do or if you don't, right. that's fine. Okay, um, that's fine. It's it's all okay. That's the greatest thing about America. Okay, is that we all get to choose what we like and don't like. Sure. And you have the right not to like. And I support that. I support you guys being out here protesting. It's the greatest freedom, and you're exercising your rights. We're all for it. Okay. All right. I appreciate it too. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. We'll we'll see you guys out and about. All right, man. Take care. Hey, I got a question to ask, Mr. McCoy. Mr. McCoy. <laughs> Did you get an email today of these oh, nuts? Wow. <laughs> Did you get an email today of these nuts? Heads up, don't get ran over. Look at all the folks we got out here cop blocking his anvil. I'm live streaming right now, so you guys are all on my YouTube. Yeah. There is a seatbelt.
what he gave Yeah, what? You're supposed to wear a seatbelt. He's got it on. He's got it on. I didn't have it on when he took me to jail. We couldn't see ya. Yeah, didn't have it on when he took his own jail up. Getting your cock stuck to nobody. All right, well, uh, conversation with the supervisor, and everything's all good in Zanesville. Cop locking the police.